Hello everybody, welcome back to the breach. Let's go ahead and start up a new game. Alright, so I've played a couple of rounds between this episode and the last episode. Don't ask any questions. Look, we didn't do super well with the Frozen Titans. We got some work to do on that front. We're going to have to actually win with them at some point. However, as it stands right now, we're on to the last of the people that we haven't yet shown off. The Steel Judoka. And the reason why <laughs> these guys are the last ones... Hopefully should be obvious if you played this game, and if you haven't, oh boy, are you in for a fun time. All the best of times. Anyway, look, let's just get this party started. The Steel Judoka are a piece of crap. <laughs> it's hard to overstate how unbelievably frustrating they are to play. So, we need to figure out where we need to put Henry Kwan. And I'm looking at this very honestly and very truthfully, and there's not much here. On a, if we put Henry Kwan into our judo mech at the very least it allows the judo mech to move around and that might be more important than anything else so you know what keep moving you fast lightning speed judo mech you <laughs> the steel judoka uh much like their namesake uh the martial art of judo uh is supposed to be using your opponent's strength against them at least that's the idea what ends up happening most of the time is oh god they're still alive. Why are they still alive? Why are there 15 of them on the field? Oh my god, why? <laughs> That's the general breakdown of it. We're going to just do our best to get through and at least try to go for a win here. And the easiest way to do that is to do this nice easy mission first. Except for the whole killing seven enemies part. <sighs> killing enemies is not something that these guys are good at. And unfortunately it seems like we're going to have to do it. Might as well do it now. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not happy about this. So, the Steel Judoka are primarily concerned with using their opponent's strength against them. Uh, getting the Vec to attack the other Vec. And it's not easy to do all the time, but it's even harder to do... Oh, good lord. It's even harder to do when no one gives you a chance to present an opportunity to even start doing the things you want to do. So... How do we do this? Well, we could get our gravity mech to go ahead and try to pull this guy and do a little bit of damage. Our judo mech's kind of stuck either way. We'd like to stop that if at all possible. Um, we know that the environment's going to freeze whatever's stuck on these squares. <laughs> it's just, this sucks. <laughs> this whole, this whole business sucks. Um, there's no easy way to get these guys to move around and attack themselves. That's just the long and short of it. And that's what makes these guys so tough. You do have to figure out, and I do mean have to, figure out a way to get these guys to attack, like, get the Vec to attack themselves. Unless if you just don't want to attack. Like, like you, just, you don't get the chance to. So, you know what? Here's an idea. Let's at least liberate our dude. Fine. Oh, my phone just went off. I got a text. Okay, sweet. My friend's gonna be coming over, and I'm guessing that uh, this might actually run a bit long, but it doesn't matter. What are some things that we can do to speed things up? Well, we know that we can go ahead and, uh... Shove this guy over a little, and that's not going to make a big difference. Uh, we know that we can take this gravity mech to do something. I'll be honest with you, this gravity mech is not going to be doing too much. Um, but if we can actually get the gravity mech to do something useful for us, like, for instance, pull this guy onto the spawn, that might actually be helpful. And then finally, I guess, since we don't want to lose power right out of the gate, let's do this. Now, our upsides for the judo mech, for the judoka. Um, this artillery does have the option of working like the normal artillery does for our usual rift walkers except for it's the opposite in terms of how damage works it's not the square that you target that takes damage it's all the squares around it so you can deal four damage a turn with this guy spread amongst four different units mind you but you know uh the gravity mech can pull people all over the place also comes with the added benefit of the Vec now deal extra damage to themselves, but if you have not noticed yet, uh, it's not like these Vec are in a position to really attack themselves yet. It's a little frustrating. Also, we are never going to get this killing seven enemies thing. It's just not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> so, what can we do to make this uh, better for us? Well... Currently, there's not much. We can't exactly push people with these guys, which just makes them so difficult. Um, and honestly, this Hornet's not doing very much, but there's nothing I could really do with him either. 
Honestly, I, we can kill this, you know, this guy right here, and that's not a big deal. We get the kill, then we're happy about it, and that's fine. Um, we can actually do that using the gravity mech, and that might be our best move. Just so that way the gravity mech can do something else more useful with his time, possibly, but I sincerely doubt he's able to. So, you know, let's just do that. Boom, nice little kill there. Everyone's a little hurt. What a time to be alive. You're attacking your friend to let him loose upon the world. That's fine and all, but how about we just don't let you do that? How do you feel about that particular happenstance? Finally, um, because it doesn't do anyone damage except for that hornet, <laughs> that's a terrible move. What else am I going to do? Uh, even the artillery is hard to use with this character. Um, yeah, you know what? Just do it this way. It'll get rid of a shield, but I don't particularly care. At least we get a kill this way. Then the ice comes down and freezes the scorpion before he has a chance to attack, and then the hornet misses, and okay, fine. So the other problem right now is that our Judamech only does one damage. Like, that's all he does. And they're still not in a position to really attack themselves. <laughs> like, no one's attacking in good places. It's really just that frustrating. <laughs> Um, here, we can definitely do this, though. Get a nice little block that way. Uh, is there a way to then shove people in the way of that block and then get them to attack themselves? Yes, there is. Look at this nonsense. Boom, somebody's gonna die. Finally, you know what, Henry Kwan, you're super fast. Just go over here, repair, take it easy, and watch how this turn unfolds. Except for it's not going to, because... They're going to attack each other just as soon as they all get iced, which means he's now liberated again, which is a little frustrating, but whatever. Anyway, last turn, we only have to deal with two of them. What a time to be alive. That was going to be great. They're going to kill each other. We were going to get some experience. Is that what's going to happen? Heck to the no. So instead, what am I going to do? I mean, I guess I'll try to kill him, and there's an easy way to do that. Uh, that's not how. You go over here. Then you throw him. Then you get gravity mech to gravity pull your own judo mech to do one extra damage. <laughs> then you get this guy to move over here and use the artillery to kill the last guy. Look at that, everybody. We've done it. Henry Kwan's almost dead. What the hell? These mechs can't handle cold? Apparently not. Don't worry about it, though. Your failure has put the other regions of the island in danger. Yeah, you know what? To heck with you. We survived. As far as I'm concerned, that's a goddamn genius plan. Defending the robots is almost impossible. Freeze to defend both robots is also hard. Take less than three grid damage. It's potentially doable. Let's go for the shielded vaults. So, what we don't want to do is activate these two robots. What's likely to happen is we're going to activate those two robots. The good news is the robots only have one HP each. And hilariously, every one of these mechs can actually do that. <laughs> I hate these guys. Okay. You know what? Let's call it like it is. There's actually a neat opportunity here. Um, I can move this mech off. And I can probably pull him in such a way as to get a, get some stuff done. But you know what? Never mind. Don't worry. It's fine. You're kind of stuck, aren't you? Yeah, and you're going to die if I do that. Look, this is already not looking great. But uh, we'll see what we can do. That was just bad placement on my part. So it's kind of great that we have Henry Kwan, because Henry can just move through enemy units, which gives him a lot of mobility. Um, I think that our best bet, honestly, is just to move this guy out of the way for now. With that said, um, it would be ideal, honestly, if I could just stand over here for a second. You move back a space. You shove this guy down to attack your friend instead. Thank you. Appreciated. And then you pull this guy into that guy. I actually... Hold on. Reset the turn. We actually could have gotten some kills this turn if I had been smart. So we still do the same thing that we did with Quan. And I'm going to go ahead and use up my reset turn on the first turn if I goddamn want to, okay? Oh, that's the reason why we couldn't do it. All right, well, we, we wasted it. Don't don't worry about that too much, okay? We, we wasted it, but it's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the pull. Here, so that we one more shot will kill this guy, and that should be enough. Um, you're not gonna die, and you are gonna liberate a robot, but you're gonna die next turn, so that's cool, I guess. We have two more spawns, amazing. 
Hey, has anyone else noticed that there's a lot of shit going on all at once? <laughs> okay, so you're already dead. You're attacking that way that I don't want you to attack. You're also attacking a way I don't want you to attack. There's a lot of things I want to do. Um, where can you move? So there's one thing I know we could do. Just by moving back and blasting like this, we're doing a lot of damage all at once. We're getting rid of two people, and it's pretty sweet. Ideally, I'd like to do one more thing on top of that. This guy's gonna die before we get the chance. Ah. But then we can get another pull on top of that. Okay, hold on. My priority right now is to protect this coal plant. Guaranteed. And... You're... Wait, hold on. What? Oh, undo move. You're attacking my dude. And if I just move out of the way, you'll kill him? Thanks, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'll take what I can get. So that's nice. Um, if you liberate him, that's going to be fine. We'll leave this guy alone. This guy needs to die. Or at least be moved into a position where he can die. Um, if I move here, I can shove this guy one extra square. Then I can go ahead and move here and throw him onto the, a different square, onto this square. And I can pull this guy and then they'll shoot, he'll shoot him and kill him and it's another kill. Amazing. We'll take one grid power. But I think we can afford to lose it this, just this once. This is too cool a turn not to. Or I just let this happen and then he kills the robot. Yeah, that's actually better. Okay. Now, how do we deal with the rest of these problems? You cannot deal with him. Unless if you tank the shot. Which is entirely doable. That is a thing you can do, actually. And then you just move over here and pull him off. Which should not ever be taken out of context when I say this, okay? I know I've said it a lot in this series, but, like, there's nothing else I can say. It's the only way to make sense. Alright, so, with a combination of... Careful movement and everything else. I think we've managed to do a good job this turn of not taking any grid damage. Yep. Not bad. Alright, now we have a lot more work to do. They have more spawns. Because of course they do. Alright, so you're going to break for your dude. You're attacking there. I really wish you wouldn't. And you're attacking straight ahead. Is there a way to get you to attack anybody else? Not likely. Um, who attacks first? Our scorpion does, then the firefly does? You know what, I got an idea. This might be nuts, but it could work. Um, ooh, that would get me killed if I don't deal with him immediately after, but we can shove him up here. Then I can judo throw him here so that way he'll kill the firefly. And then we have this last firefly to deal with. And instead of getting my dude to get killed, I think that I just, I don't know, move the dude down. That makes sense to me. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Then we're going to move up here. And what can you do? Yeah, you can pull him out of the way, but it's not going to do anything. Hold on. New plan. Who goes first? You go first. We have not thought, we, have, we did not think this through properly, it turns out. Um. Huh. Wait, don't we have a thing for get over here? No, we don't. Wait, unwitting allies? Have four enemies die from enemy fire in a single battle? Okay. Well, we're, we're not getting to that yet. Um. We could get a kill. We are likely to lose grid power this turn. It turns out. Because if you move over here, we're likely to lose a pilot this turn if we don't move something around. And the only thing we can move around is this joker to attack our power grid. I hate this life. <laughs> Just everything about it. Are you at 3 HP? You're at 3 HP. Of course you are. Um, you know what? I'd rather take power grid damage than lose a pilot. Unnecessarily. So, uh, enjoy your free shot, you piece of shit. <laughs> ah! Oh, the resist! That's huge! Okay, so small problem. 
They have a Scion. And there's this guy still. <laughs> and no one's really attacking in any useful direction that I can use at the moment. Um, even if I go here and do a pull, it's not going to do very much. I, I need to move and do something useful at the same time every time I move. So if I knock this guy back... Oh, right. Because I deal damage with my own shot. Yeah, that's fun and awesome. <laughs> okay, hold on. Rethink. We know that we need to get him off the coal plant, but that's the only thing we need to do. Everything else past that is just bonus. The easiest way to move him off would either include Judo Mech or Gravity Mech. And Gravity Mech can do the exact one movement necessary to do some pretty cool stuff. Because then we can throw him over here, and then... What? <laughs> you see the problem. Um, we can't exactly shunt the guy anywhere. Honestly, what happens if we do it the other way around? We throw him. We then pull him. And then we blast him down and have him attack this guy for literally no additional bonus? That don't seem right. Okay, look, I think the best thing we can do is to shoot like this, dealing some extra damage. In fact, he'll do a lot of extra damage. He'll knock everyone down one HP, which allow me to actually move over here and throw the guy and kill him. Yeah, you know, that's two kills that I didn't necessarily need to have. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. All right, then, um, might as well just move this guy here. Since this guy's at one HP, let's give our gravity mech a little extra experience, because we can. Actually, hold on. How much damage have you tanked this round? Three kills. One damage blocked. I don't suppose that there's a way that we could uh, figure out... You know, a way to do additional damage or additional kills, is there? There is! Because we do this. Then we move over here. And then... Oh, wait, shit. He's still alive. <laughs> Alright, so we're obviously not doing it this round. Alright, fine. Get off the coal plant, please. At least we're gonna tank a shot, so we get to feel sorta of smart about this, but I'll be honest with you, we just needed one extra mech. Is that possible? Hey game developers, can I have four mechs? No? What do you mean it's unbalanced? Okay. So, we managed to get a perfect mission anyway through sheer goddamn luck, and I'll take it, honestly. We only need to do two more. All right, fine. Lock the Vex spawning three times. Protect the emergency batteries. Seems pretty simple. Um, but we need to try for more corporate rep. We know that freezing defending both robots is going to be hard. But it is possible. Especially because they're only spawning one extra unit this turn. Let's give it a shot. We gotta try. Alright, so, uh, you might have noticed that I'm placing my guys far more aggressively, and part of the reason why is because the Judo guys all kind of need to be in the action to create the situations necessary to have, you know, the bad times. Now, <laughs> what do I mean by the bad times? You don't need to, don't ask. Uh, this guy. Can I pull him, shove him, or move him without damaging him? No. Because <laughs> that's a spawn point. Um, okay. One easy thing to do, that we could easily do, actually, is to just take this guy and dump, and, like, just straight up dunk him in the water. Give him the worst day at the beach possible. Then we have these two left. And this guy. Th to be fair, we also have this guy. So what can you do? We can move you a square forward. But that will kill you. We have to move you a square to the side. So we move you a square to the side... And that will stop you from dealing damage to this building. Okay. We freeze the other guy. So that's one of them frozen. Dunk him. Pull him. And then we just have to do something with the artillery dude. There's nothing to do. Believe it or not. So we're going to just create, as much as possible, a situation where they can attack themselves. This is the only good spot to put ourselves. Because if we get webbed in the water, we're done. 
I know there's an action available. I'm not going to bother with it. And actually, you know what? Let's bother with it. What that's going to do is it's going to allow this guy to create water there. Which hopefully will allow us to drown more of these land-based enemies. Which thankfully we actually do get to deal with. Ah. Alright, so we want to freeze another dude. But which dude shall we freeze? <sighs> and also importantly, how do we deal with all of this garbage all at once? Hmm. I ideally would like to use my artillery to deal with him. And also ideally, I'd like to freeze him this turn. But I can't seem to find a way to do that right now. I also need to freeze him this turn. Because if I don't, we're going to have a bad time. <sighs> Unless there's a way to me... If... No, nah, there isn't. There's just not... <laughs> Ah, this team! Okay, so the other option is I try to shove this guy. I can't do it. I can't move fast enough. There's no way to move fast enough. And our only fast moving dude is currently webbed. I love this. Um, okay, so what? Okay, let's think of it this way. If we use Gravity Mech to pull him into the water, he can then move. Right? Yeah, then he can move. Good stuff. With the ability to move, I can not do anything. <laughs> Why did we make water there last turn? That was a silly decision. That was not a good that was not a good idea. Um and you can't go in the water because you're too small. Tiny tiny people tanks. <laughs> 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 I just want to dunk you in the water. Uh, I can't find a way to do it. If we were aiming to kill everything on the field, this would be a great time. But right now, we really can't afford to do that. Is there a way that we can kill the Firefly before anything bad happens? Yes, but that doesn't stop us from having the small problem where this guy is an issue. Like, watch. We do this, we shoot here, and it kills everybody. Um, hold on. Yep, no, it would kill the one guy we don't want it to kill. Never mind. Don't even think about that plan. It's not worthwhile either. God damn you. Can we freeze the building? No. Can we freeze a different building? Yes. Will it matter? No. I hate this. <laughs> We, if only the gravity mech was able to shoot forwards or backwards. But no. That's not an option for us. Alright, so look at it this way. We pull him out of the way of that. He then blocks that shot. It's already a two for one. You still can't move to where you need to go. That's, that's our trick. If we can manage to move these two out of the way, we can freeze this guy, and then we don't have to worry about the artillery mech ever again, which would be nice. Um, so how do we do that? So we pull him out. Then we use the artillery shot on him. Is that possible? It is. To shove the fire... To shove the scorpion out of the way. Then we can move this guy down here and freeze him. Hold on, let's at least get through the first couple steps. We haven't used our reset turn yet. Pull. Now you can move anywhere, which is kind of the greatest. Then what did I say? Move over here and shove the scorpion out of the way. Yeah, that's what I said. And then Henry has to do what? Honestly, if Henry moves out of the way and moves the Scorpion... Hold on, undo the last two moves. Can you move down far enough? You cannot! But you can move... You can, you can move someplace where it actually works. So we get... 
Henry Kwan to move over here and then move the Scorpion out of the way. We then get this guy to launch his rocket like so. And then we move you here to freeze the other robot. And we just hope like hell that we don't have to freeze any more people because you're dead now. Small problem, that. But let's see what we can do. Maybe there's a chance... Okay, literally, he could just sit there and tank that and that'd be fine. You are not allowed to exist. Not where you currently are. So... And also, I would really rather you guys shot yourselves, because currently getting the Vec to do damage to themselves is a much better way to do things. Um, okay, we got a double kill here. That's already, like, a gold standard move, as far as I'm concerned. It gets a kill, knocks everybody down in HP, does a ton of damage. Lovely. Let's do that. Then... We can just use this guy to pull you away from that building, which is a happy time for you. And then we can just get a kill using Henry Kwan. Sure. And then just tank that shot, because you can. Look at that. Alright, we have two things we need to stop, and we can do both. After that one turn of finally figuring out how to do everything, not bad. Not bad. You're almost done. Or you can be done. You can be killed. Um, easily, I might add. We're just going to go ahead and artillery you into the drink. Because that guy doesn't take damage. You're dead. Amazing. Might as well just pull you into the water area here. And then just sit you here so that we feel like we're being useful and take some damage. We actually did it. <laughs> Wow, okay. Next, thermal dampeners defend the robots. Alright, so this is the one where everybody gets turned to ice all the time. Um, three spawns, we got our two robots. Okay. Um, we are not getting a lot of kills this time, is my feeling. Let's put the judo mech right in the middle. Get our two uh, movie mechs off to the side. Honestly, I think that this is slightly better positioning. Because it blocks the Firefly, vec, you know, Vec from doing anything ridiculously tricky. Or we can just sit here and, I don't know, we'll, we'll worry about the, the Hornet mech we can't worry about. Don't even worry about it. Alright, so defend both robots. They're going to put down mines. We're going to aim as much as possible to use those mines to our advantage and keep people alive and on the field. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Don't... You piece of shit. Ah, uh, I'm mad. <laughs> okay, so... How do we start this nonsense? Well, no word of a lie. If I just artillery this guy here, he blocks a spawn, and that's great. But he had to just go and freeze himself, didn't he? Um, if this jerk was not there, we could have artilleried here, broken the ice, shoved him onto a spawn, and got him to block a spawn and hurt somebody. But no, it's not what's going to happen. Um... Honestly, our best turn for this turn is just to sit here and pull this guy away from here. Then we move over here and throw this guy on the other side so that we were blocking spawn we've actually done some damage. And then with our artillery guy, we could just secure the time pod. It's an option. It's not a terrible option either. We can do an additional damage to the Firefly. It's not. That's okay, I suppose. We could also break this dude open and force him to take one damage, which would be like, holy crap, cute, but it's not a, it's just not a good idea. So let's go with this. And then, uh, yep, we can just do that. That works, as far as I'm concerned. Just don't forget to actually do the uh, gravity mech move. Thank you, appreciate it. End turn. So we tank a damage. That's kind of what we're aiming for. We'd like to tank four. So if we can block a shot every turn, that might be a good idea. Alright. Wow. You're going to kill him. We can't let that happen. Here's a question. Can you kill your friend instead for me, please? Thanks. 
<laughs> oh, wait. And then we got another great move right here. Because we're just going to throw this dude over here. And then who goes first? He'll go first and shoot him. Then he'll kill him. Okay, that's fine. So... Now I need to figure out something to do with you. Like, in all actuality, it'd be nice if we could actually blast this guy open. That'd be killing the mine. Is there any place else we could go? Uh, is there anything else that we can do, actually, to help speed up damage to this little gentleman? Not without, like, hurting our own things, because the way that we moved. Is there an optimal move we could make? Not really. <laughs> Not really at all. Um, we could block a spawn, but I'm not sure if that's a good move. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this guy open. Be free, little one. And don't sit on another one of those ice mines, please, because otherwise I'm going to have a hard time dealing with you. So at least we got to you know them to kill themselves this turn, which is nice. Oh, God. We're surrounded. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, come on. We just liberated you. Alright, lots went wrong. Lots went wrong. Um, if we shove like this, we hurt our own building because we still don't have the power cores necessary to get anything done because we only got our first power core just now. Ugh. Um, you die if we can liberate him. Like, hold on. If we pull, it's going to break him out of the ice. No, hold on. There's got to be another way to do things. If we get this guy, honestly, to just do a launch, like, where? If we do this launch, that helps a great deal. In fact, it helps a lot. That gets rid of a lot of our current threats. You'll attack and kill him. You'll attack nothing. You attack nothing. You attack nothing. You're the only problem we have. And we can kill you, so we might as well. Is there anything else we can do? Because I'd like to block a spawn. There's only one spawn left. And if we can do the amount of, like, garbage we just pulled right now. Nah, it doesn't seem like... Th 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 there's nothing else we can do. We actually do have to just get a kill. Um, but then what do we do with you? Look, get the kill. Start with that. Figure out the rest of it later. Um, oh, the smart move. We get him to block a spawn. Duh. All right, now we don't have to deal with an additional spawn next turn. And they're doing it for us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> all right, so he attacks nothing. He attacks nothing and lights it on fire. He attacks his own dude and hurts all of them at least by one. Bringing them all one closer to doom. You're frozen. You're about to be dealt with. Okay. So... Fan and, you know, fun and fancy times. <sighs> I could get you to attack nothing at all. I would like you to attack your friend, if at all possible. Like, is it possible? If I light myself on fire... No, if I go here and I launch like so... It's the wrong... Hmm... Can you move behind him? No. Okay, so we're just going to have to assume that that's a lost cause. If we pull that guy... Yeah, we're going to have to do it this way. You throw him over you, so he doesn't do anything. You can pull him off. And that way he doesn't attack anything. And then finally, you... I don't know. Yeah, that, that works. It hurts ourselves, but it works. Alright, so again, kind of clinging on by the seat of our pants. But we're managing. Another perfect mission. Oh boy. Okay, so now if there's a way to... Oh, damage and push all enemies in adjacent tiles. But you deal yourself one damage? That might actually be a perfect extra weapon for you. Because now you can actually hit and hurt multiple people. That's not bad. But with only one reactor core, and the fact that this is not building immune yet...
We're gonna have to hold off on that for a second. Okay, the lack of building immunity on this unit is actually terrible. Because if we go into this last mission, let's see how clumped it is. It's clumped. Um, we're going to need that. This Vortex Fist, not so much. So, Henry, if you could just pop in to the artillery mech for a second, install an extra core, and get that building immunity, that would be hot. Um, now, this does come with a serious problem. You can't move amongst the enemies anymore as if it were nothing. That's a serious issue. We also didn't even have the power necessary to make the Vortex Fist work. Is that worth it? You know what? I'm not so sure about that. Undo. Let's go back to where we were. Uh, look, I understand, game. It's a tense moment. I seriously do. But if you could stop hammering about on the keys as much as you are, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, this works. It's gonna have to work. And if we're gonna install a core anywhere in such a way that it would actually be helpful... Ooh, plus one damage, maybe. Alright. We got a scorpion leader. He's a problem. But he's not an impossible problem. No, swap the two over here. That's good. Okay. We're likely to get this guy scorpioned. Which we can then judo out of the way. So it shouldn't be a problem. And if this guy gets scorpioned, then it's not as big a deal. Point is, we can deal with this, I think. Alright, so currently my gravity mech has taken some heat. It's fair, it's understandable. It's, I understand, I get it. I would like to block some damage this turn, and I'd also like to get this guy out of this crazy predicament. No word of a lie. I'm very tempted to slam this guy down and get himself lit on fire. That seems cool. You're really attacking nothing. Hmm. Look, if I pull him this way, he'll be f like he's not gonna hit anything, which is kind of the point. But we need him to deal damage to something else. Like that's our that's our main squeeze right now. Can we get him to deal damage to something else? If I sit on this ice, I can shove him to the side as well. That's not the issue. Like, boom. Look at that. He has been shoved. That will get ourselves killed. Don't do that. <laughs> if I do this... Nah, it's not as, it's not as helpful as it seems. Um, honestly, it's just best to get out of the way and let this game do its thing. Yep, this makes sense. Oh, the other option, if we wanted to block two spawns and take an additional damage. It's not a, a thrilling idea, if I'm being completely honest, but uh, taking one damage and then two damage from the spawn, he's at one left. Nah, nah, I was thinking maybe we could get a pull, and that would be pretty sweet, but then we have like a million spawns next turn. And I'm not so sure about blocking that spawn anymore. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I hate it. Um, we can get the scorpions to attack themselves effectively, but... Um, yeah, there's really not much else we can do. Let's just move over here. Or... Something. Yeah, let's just be prepared to deal with the incoming Vec. We want enough Vec on the field that we have to figure out a tough next turn. And the reason for that is because if we don't do that, then we're not going to have enough firepower on the field by, you know, not having enough Vec on the field. It's... It's a theory I'm working with. Let me know how, how it looks in a second or two, huh? Oh, good lord. Alright, so... Scorpion Man's doing some nasty shit to begin with. And we got a bunch of people that just moved up here immediately. That's garbage. Um... You literally can't do anything, and you literally can't do anything this turn if we don't liberate you. So it's up to you to liberate both of them in one shot. Which you can do. Just shoot like this. Alright, so you're killing the Hornet for us. Thank you. Now 
Now, if at all possible, I'd like to get these other two Jokers off of the problem that we're currently on. Which is that they're both here. Henry can definitely deal with one of them. In fact, I can drown one of them, which is actually super handy here. And I'm thinking that's exactly what we'll do. But then there's still this guy. We can get a pull and deal an extra damage. That is actually not the worst idea we've had so far. So we're going to sacrifice one of our power grids to make this happen. Oh shit, we're going to take damage if we sit there. That's fine though, don't worry about it. One damage does not a game end. So with him dead, we actually got a level up, which is nice. And we lost the power grid. To be expected, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, now you're in a weird spot again. How do we get you out of it? We could shove... You know what? No, no, no. Better move. Better move. We move back here. We shove the guy back. Because he'll go first and he'll attack and murder that Alpha Hornet. It's just dead already. Which means... We can just sit on these two things and repair for this turn. Which should get rid of the fire. Block both spawns. This is fine. So Alpha Hornet goes off first. And by Alpha Hornet, I mean Alpha Scorpion. And he kills the Hornet, no problem. Now we've just got a Hornet and a Scorpion. We just need to deal with a Hornet and a Scorpion. Okay, well we have to pull him. That's, that's like a good start. His attack's been cancelled. Good stuff. Where can you move? Pretty much anywhere, huh? Yep, that's the best way to do it. We can actually kill the boss this turn if we're good about it. Now, is this going to hurt our own guys? Yeah. Is it going to almost kill them? Also, yeah. But it's not going to kill them, most importantly. And secondly, it's going to kill the boss! Which we had no chance of doing, I felt. Like, literally, these guys normally have a terrible time. This is my third time attempting to record an episode with these guys that doesn't end within the first half of the first island. So you know what? I'll take my randomly perfect island. Also, we got a plus one mech reactor on our number one dude. Oh, we didn't get a perfect island because this happened. Right, I forgot about that. Um, okay, we almost have building immunity. That's huge. Uh, let's see, do we have anything cool here? Spartan Shield. That could be very handy for our Judo Mech to have that weapon. And it might be more handy than the Vortex Fist. Because the Vortex Fist, I think, has not as many uses. <laughs> but you can slam people into buildings and stuff with it. You know what? Don't worry about it. We don't need the Spartan Shield. It's nice to have, but not necessary. Um, I think that we need to get at least one more Reactor Core and install it in here so that we can get the building immunity. That's just, like, right on. That needs to happen. After that, we need to think about getting damage. Like, as much damage as we can possibly muster on these guys. Because as it stands, we don't do any actual damage. Um, we could get the boosters to help our artillery actually leap and jump on people. It's, it's an option. It's free. Um, and it gives our artillery a, a secondary way of pushing people around. But I'm not sure if it matters as much as it, as it, as it initially seems. So... Hmm. A shield tank that can give shields to allies. Potentially neat. No, reactor core. Be be smart. Get the reactor core. Get the grid power. I mean, unless and hear me out here. What if we put the hormones onto the artillery and then we tried to install something weird on the gravity mech, which is constantly trying to be up in people's faces anyway, and we gave it the Spartan shield to do that with. Suddenly, a unit that doesn't deal damage is dealing damage and is able to flip people. That could be really cool. Let's give that a shot. We're going to go ahead and remove this for a second. So now we have two extra power, which we can use. Bingo. Then give you this. Install it and power it up. 
All right, now our gravity mech actually has a damage dealing weapon. This is not great because it means he's a melee, but the grav well kind of needs to be used in the thick of it anyway for it to be handy. I'm okay with all of what's going on. Uh, you'll notice though that we aren't really swapping around our pilots as much. That's because Henry Kwan is too good to use on the judo mech. He's just, yeah, he needs to be there. All right, let's move on. So uh, let's go ahead and check on these texts. This is a uh, social function. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Social. I'll be next time. Okay, sounds good, my dude. Let me know when you're close, because otherwise I'm gonna be still doing this episode, <laughs> and <laughs> you're gonna be at the door slamming away, going, "What the fuck?" Uh, should be fine. Okay, let's think about this one carefully. I would like to be someplace where I don't have to deal with Spider Lord, but Spider Lord is kind of necessary, and scorpions are still amongst the easiest people to deal with. Ooh. Um. You know what? Spider Lord might end us, but if we're lucky with this detritus, we might be able to do this. Like. The Scion's a pain. Oh, but the RST Corporation. Hmm. They're still small enough that we could actually get kills and experience and cores as a result. You know what? Let's go with the RST Corporation. Our job here, as much as possible... <laughs> oh my god, it's defend the train. We want to go here as fast as possible. Um, so we're going to do this. But our job, as much as possible, is to get this perfect island. How does it look? So defending the train... Um, with our guys, it's going to be a little bit tough, because we... Oh, wait, no, we do have building immunity. Okay. But, uh, with our guys, that might still be tough, so we're going to have to be careful about how we even start this nonsense. Two leapers and a firefly. The scion is largely irrelevant. Let's sit one guy here, because he can move everywhere anyway. And then uh, here and here. That makes sense. We're far enough away that we should be fine. So, I'm worried, but I'm sure that we can manage this. Okay, we can get rid of him. We can do that. We can deal with that. Okay. You're in the way. That's my problem with you. So what happens if I do a Vortex Fist? It's going to absolutely hit the train. <laughs> That's the problem with the Vortex Fist. Um, undo move. So we can definitely get up here with the Shield Smash and just do that. It's an option. So that gets one out of the way. Then we can move over. Oh, we can't quite move all the way over. No one can? Hell, we can't throw this guy in the way either. Okay, hold on. Undo move. I think our best bet, really, is to sit and tank this shot. With this guy. And then with this guy... Uh, hold on. Do we have... Any, do we have an option that doesn't suck? Hold on. We need to kill him. We need to kill him. And we need to move. We need to block this guy's shot. Those are our three priorities. And unfortunately, due to the way that the artillery works in this game. Oh, that does do one of the things we need, actually. So definitely do that. The train is now free to move. Nice. We still need to kill off this leaper. Or to move him. Because the train moves last, right? Yeah, the train moves last. So that works. Then you just move here and I... There's nothing to hit. So, just chill, I guess, my dude. This is not where we want it to be. And the Scion Regeneration does make things a little bit more awkward than it has any right to be. But, here we are. Two Alphas, no less. Okay, there's some nasty stuff going on this turn. A lot of nasty stuff going on this turn. Um, I can just move around the side and Aegis slash him, which kills him. And who goes first? The Leaper goes first out of the two, and he's going to do a lot of damage. Um... So he's dead. In this theoretical scenario, he's already done. Uh, 
I need to move him out of the way. That's like a guarantee. And the only way to do that is to shoot right here, which doesn't do very much, if I'm being completely honest. Either that, or we tank the shot, which kills us. I'll be honest with you, we don't have any other options. I think that this is what we have to do this turn. We Aegis smash, like so. I mean, hold on. Let's think about this carefully as well. Do we have a gravity pull turn? Who goes first out of the two of you? Firefly does. That's neat and all, but I don't think that does anything extra, because we still need to get rid of this guy, and honestly, the Aegis shield is the best way to do it. So, get the kill. Be a smart boy. Then, shove him over. And then, get him out of the way. Then tank the shot. So we didn't deal any additional damage to that one Firefly, but we're still in control of this train. Okay. <laughs> I sense problems. Um, where can you move? You can move one person out of the way. And you can dunk a person. So you get to dunk somebody today. You get to move this guy elsewhere. And you get to turn that frown upside down. And turn. Did we get a lot of kills this time? No. Did we completely protect this train and the emergency batteries? Heck to the yes! That's a perfect shot! I'm very pleased about that. That was lucky as hell. Alright. Next. Scrapyard. Destroy two mountains, kill at least seven enemies, and protect the defense lab. That is literally... Impossible. So what's more important for us? The early reactor core? Actually, no, wait. We can defeat two mountains on the first turn. But the killing seven enemies part... I'm not sure about. We, I think we need to give it a shot, though. So, uh, this seems like it's pretty painfully obvious placing to me. We're going to give this a shot. Ideally, what I'd like to do is get this Firefly to attack and kill his own friend. To do that, we need to do two things. First, we need to make him available. Next, we need to move him. Now they're going to attack each other. Who goes first? You go first. So the Scarab's already dead. Nice. Finally, there's you. Just gets shield slapped. That shield slap is probably the strongest, most important thing that we've outfitted on our entire team this entire game. I am thrilled. Alright, so we got a nice kill. Two kills that turn, actually. That was very nice. Uh, he's threatening a building. You're a leaper. Okay, how do we deal with you? <laughs> we could uh, move back and shunt him to the side. We can do something similar over here, liberating him, which will allow us to sort of deal with him. But he's doing five damage. Like, that's untankable. Ideally, I'd like to get this Firefly to do another, sh another kill, but I don't think it's possible. So, let's assume that we can get rid of this Leaper, and that's not a big problem. But, how? Hold on. We can get Gravity Mech to move over here, actually, and pull this guy into the drink. That's, that's good to know. Um, if we shoot like this... <gasps> I see the turn. Watch this. Blast him. Throw him. Pull him. It's the perfect turn. He kills his own Scion, no less. Not that it matters much. This Firefly is our best friend, by the way. If you hadn't noticed, it's what's allowing us to get a lot of the kills that we're managing right now. Oh, do I see another... I see another potential kill, but like... Ugh. It's just a little bit in the way. Okay, so these guys are currently only dealing one damage to all their friends. I think that our passive is only plus one. Now, we do need to move you out of the way. You're doing three. You're not attacking anything as so long as we move out of the way. You're fine. And we need to stop you. 
Okay. Hilariously, we can just use the shield, like the Aegis mech, to just shunt him in the opposite direction. We can ignore these two, effectively. But what I want to do is move this guy in the way of this person's shot. So that way he gets hit for two, at the very least. And because of the one damage he'll take from the throw... Alright, now we just need to get the shield guy out of the way. <laughs> um, there's a lot of crisscrossing stuff all over the place right now. Okay, move you out of the way. This gets rid of one of the mountains automatically, so that's handy. Alright, then we just go around and spin him around. And he'll get rid of the other mountain for us. Alright. So, we get a kill over here. You get shot and killed, but not before you break the mountain. And then you... Yeah, no, this is great. This is a perfect turn. Holy crap. Are we actually popping off with the Steel Judoka right now? Oh, that was great. Now, another thing that we need to keep in mind. I was told that if you destroy mountains, there's sometimes like a little glow on the ground. You want to really really do the glow stuff uh you want to stand on top of that glow as much as possible so when do you attack you're fourth okay um who can i get to attack you this turn i could get the scarab to attack you but it's only going to do three so i need to do one extra damage to you and i don't think that that's physically possible we need to pull you off of that square that's just the way that that particular cookie crumbles if that's the case who you attack first huh Okay, if I shoot like this, you should get shot first, which kills you before you can attack the reactor. Beautiful. You need to pull him off. But at the same time, I need to get rid of the scarab. Wait, hold on. If we pull him, then I get behind him. And does that shove people in directions they don't want to be in? No. No. I think we're losing some power, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Like, this would be moving you one back and dealing me one damage. Hold on, undo move. This might be the reset turn moment. I still think that this first move is fantastic and is well worth doing. But now the trick is, what do I do with the rest of this? I go up here, I shield slam and get the kill, and then move over here... And then I can either do the Vortex Fist, which moves them back one, or the Throw, which moves them back to the side, which does them no damage, which means that they don't deal any damage. The smart move would be to Vortex Fist in this case, because now they're close enough to death that next turn I could kill them. But anyway, it does not matter. This Firefly kills his friend. We get an extra level up. This guy attacks nothing. We're managing. And it's almost entirely because we got through the first island and gave our non-attacking mech a shield that does damage. Oh, that felt good. All right, so plus one mech reactor on our gravity mech, huge. That means that we can either give additional move or gain a shield. Um, Gaining that shield means that now our gravity mech is actually a, not just a science, it's a tank. So protecting the old earth bar, that's an easy one to do. Do not kill the volatile mech is now actually difficult to do. Um, I think we're going to go to the erosion flats to get this perfect island that we need. So, we got a Leaper, we got some other stuff. Okay. Swap these two around. Yeah, that works. Alright, so what we want to do as much as possible is toss people into the Cataclysm. And, oh, come on, it's the only square where they could go to attack the Old Earth Bar. It means we kind of have to deal with it on the first turn. Alright, you're already dead, and you're a problem. Now, we do have building immunity, so we could just shove you off for free. It's not bad, fine. Um, if I move you here and I do the Vortex Fist, then you die. That's a reasonable request, I think. And I kind of like that idea. Are we going to get that old earth bar thing? Yeah, we're going to definitely pick this up. That's fine. 
then shove him off. Nicely done. Alright, so you still have a thing you can do. Can you just, like, ease your shield in a random direction so you can get that shield? Thanks. I appreciate that. Alright, so, two kills. Not bad. There's a couple of mountains in the way now, so they can't really just move around willy-nilly. Leaper moves over there and attacks there. Not thrilling, but we can kill him this turn. Not just by moving out of the way, though. We'd have to attack the building to get them to attack themselves here. And even then, it's not going to happen because these two are already dead. So how about you just shield slash him and kill him? You're already going to die. You're going to die. We need to deal with you now. So how about you move over here and we just judo toss you onto the other square? So we're both going to block this turn. And you... I don't know, dude. <laughs> what, are you, what are you going to do? Might as well get rid of this rock. Because it's not doing anything. Other than blocking the everything? You know, don't even do that. Just, where are you best positioned? Like here? And turn. So, that's two dead. Easily, I might add. Henry Kwan's almost done, but it's our last turn, which means that we win, and we don't die, and that's kind of the greatest. GG, well played. That was a nice quick mission. I'm very pleased about how that turned out. Although, it's going to be a little bit hard to get to the bar right now. <laughs> oh, good work, both of you both you and your st steel judoka. Don't worry, I'm also referring to them that way. Oh, silica. Mech can act twice if it does not move. Plus, it comes with two mech HP. Neat idea. Who could possibly get a lot of benefit out of that? Um... Honestly, if I was able to Spartan Shield twice in a row, that'd be kind of cute, because it flips them, then flips them again. But, like, honestly, Silica doesn't do much for us this round. At all. And now we have two Reactor Cores. And where do we want to put two Reactor Cores? Where it's going to do two additional... Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Please do that. That is amazing. So our artillery can now do an actual amount of damage that is worth talking about. We probably don't need to upgrade our, our artillery mech that much anymore. We're doing consistently at least two damage. If we need to, we can do six damage in a turn to one target. That's pretty sweet. And we're probably not going to end up using silica, which is, like, I guess a problem. But eh. defend both solar farms. Potentially doable. It also put our power grid high enough that we can stand to sacrifice some if we need to. How does this look? It's a lot of dust. Like, a lot of dust. That creates problems. Geothermal station. Again, a lot of dust. But we have building immunity now. On what, on our artillery. I think we have options when it comes to this mission. As long as, you know, we keep the fight to this corner, we should be okay. Plus, it's our best route to getting more corporate reps. So I think that that's exactly what we should do. Alright, we want to keep the fight over to this corner. Then this is how we're doing it. Get our two frontliners. Hilariously, my science mech is now a frontliner. Get used to it. Okay. 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 So, easy turn one. We move this guy over here. And we slap him. We move this guy over here. And we kill both of them. That creates a ton of sand, though. I'm not thrilled about that, but it'll have to do. Why don't we block this spawn? And then we'll just sit there and end the turn. So, they get one spawn this turn. We'll learn to deal with it and the leaper. Okay, that is an issue. But it's an issue we can actually easily deal with. Okay, you go over here and just throw him. The problem is that you're, like, halfway across the map if you do that. I don't like that positioning at all. Um, hmm. Is there anything else we can do? Look, if I Vortex Fist here, it does, like, one damage and moves a bunch of stuff around. That seems pretty cute, honestly. And it does a lot of dust, but it also puts me at... Oh, it does self-damage. Yeah. We can't do that. 
We can't afford to take a lot of damage that isn't by our own doing. So get the kill here. It's fine. Okay. You can get an easy kill here. Just moving to the side and blasting the dude. Killing off two rocks as well. Nicely done. Alright, and let's block another spawn with our free shield, I guess. That way we're getting another, you know, stamp on the block vex spawning button. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We got an even better move. Look at this. I'm an actual goddamn genius. Boom. That's our two vex spawns. That's all we needed in order to get that extra bit of corporate rep. And we don't even take damage for it. What a time to be alive. All right. So, this is what you do. You're serious. That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do we want to do this? Like, here's the cute move. We move back. We pull this guy forward. He blocks a spawn for us. Right? Good start. This guy stands in front of him. Tanks the shot. Repairs. No extra damage. No extra problems. We're now blocking one spawn and there's still three left up. We can't really do much about that, actually. Ideally, we would like to block more than one spawn. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure if we have that kind of luck this time around. Um, if we move here, and if we blast like this, that's not a good move. Uh, if we move here, and if we blast like this, that does a ton of damage. And sands everything. That's potentially really bad. But it does allow us to get a bunch of extra kills. And I am A-OK -okay with that. Um, especially because you can just move here and shield slam, and then you can just move on here, block it, and then kill. Which creates more sand, which is a problem, I'll grant you that, but... Alright, there's clouds everywhere. This is officially difficult to deal with. But, at least they can't attack this guy in melee range, so that's going to make it difficult for them. They are going to do that though, aren't they? Um, Alright, so there's two things we need to do. And this guy's impossible to deal with. This guy is not. If we move him over here and get a throw, he's done for the turn. Great. If we move over here and shunt him into a cloud, then he's not attacking. He's done. Then if we take this guy and Spartan Shield Slam him, he's done. We don't get any extra kills, but we blocked the Vex spawning, we protected the coal plant, and nobody died. As far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what we were walking in here to do. That was a lot of dust to have to deal with, and man, if we were the Rusting Hulks, we would have been a happy bunch of campers. Like, holy crap. Now, with that said, we still have to destroy the Beetle Leader. <laughs> and that's going to prove harder than it looks. So, what do we want to do? Um, this Firefly is probably going to go straight to attack Corporate HQ. And if we set up like so, then we have the best options to deal with it, I think. It also forces them to either attack buildings over here with, like, little tiny people. Yep, or that happens. Alright, alright, okay. There's some options being presented to us. I don't like all of them very much, unfortunately. I do have another cool option, though. If I move to the side, I pull this guy here. Uh, no. If I move the Steel Joker guy here, and I shunt him in the way of this guy, he'll shoot for six. That's going to kill him. Wait, no. He'll shoot for four. It'll still really badly hurt him. <laughs> and leave, like, a lot of fire in a place that we can use it. Um, then we still have two mechs to use. Oh. Oh, we go to this side. And we force the beetle leader to attack and smash him for a bunch of damage instead. Keeping them together. And then we just get this guy over here. And we blast him like... The other way. <laughs> yeah, this works. Okay, watch, watch, watch. We're going to move over here. We throw him like this. No problem, right? Then we're going to move like this. And we're just going to shield slam him. So he'll shoot him, and, like really badly hurt him. And then he'll kill him. No problem. Then you get killed like this. And it's a perfect first turn. The Steel Judoka are on fire. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, you've only got one HP. Now, the problem with all this, you might have realized, is... Hey! When does the fun stop? Um... How do we deal with this guy? He does, he's doing... He's got 4 HP. It's a lot of HP. Um, if we shunt and shoot like this... 
I didn't mean to click, but I clicked. Uh, it puts this guy in a slightly easier to deal with position. Or easier position to ignore, anyway. What I'd like to do, I think, is pull this guy onto the spawn. Or over here, anyway. And then get this guy to get a nice little throw. So, he's gonna hurt me for one. But not before he dies. Yeah, he's gonna die first. And then he'll die immediately afterwards by blocking the spawn, which means we only have one person to deal with on our second last turn? That's kind of amazing. They're gonna have a lot of spawns this turn, though. So if we can, like, like block a lot of these spawns, that might be ideal. Um... Particularly the ones, like, the front three ones, if we can stop them. Um... We can. In fact, if I take this guy to throw the him over here and then pull him here, he'll die blocking the spawn. Then this guy moves over here and blocks that spawn. And then we got these two left to deal with. Yeah, that's that's probably our most like that's probably the cute play, but it's actually also a smart play, I think I find. So we'll do it this way. Um, and unfortunately, we can't really do much other than get rid of those two rocks. And I'd rather not, actually. The two rocks there are totally fine. So, um, yeah, end turn. We're fine. He attacks. Nothing else happens. He blocks. We block. Okay, we got a Firefly and a Scion to deal with. Okay, that's, that's not even, like, a contest. Um... Honestly, you move here, and you just blast like this. That's one of them dead. And oh no, we lost our shield, which we're going to get immediately back for doing this. And then Henry Kwan's just sitting here like, oh, well, was that supposed to be hard? That was insanely good. I knew that going into it, but, like, the Beetle Lord made that unbelievably easy for us. I feel like we would be fools not to continue in some way, shape, or form. Uh, let's see. Pull tank? We already have a pull tank? That's not what we want. Gata might be helpful in this case. So let's grab him. Alright, so... Um, who... Where would Gata be useful? Gata could be useful in the gravity mech. Because that would allow us to actually, you know, land amongst everybody and just use Spartan Shield to get stuff started. Um, Henry Kwan still stays on the judo mech for reasons. But we would like to actually add plus two damage to the vice fist or plus one damage to the vortex fist. I'm not sure which one. Ooh, or plus one damage to the Spartan Shield. I think that honestly adding the two damage to the Vice Fist is a good move, because although that means we aren't able to use it as often to, you know, get direct kills, it'll actually put the elites, the, like a lot of the alphas we're dealing with, in range to become destroyed. Um, also getting Vec Hormones upgrades might be helpful, uh, with as far as cores are concerned. So if we can get three cores on him, that's great. And since I know we're already getting rid of Silica, that's a stellar decision. So, goodbye Silica, we don't need you today. Um, yeah, that's not... No. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and grab our 1, 2, 3 reactor cores to start with. Uh, and put them into... Henry Kwan's mech here. Now, we have to decide. Do we want to keep Ghana? And honestly... It's a tempting decision... But we aren't going to be able to buy the extra reactor core that we would need to keep the gain shield option here. Which is kind of what's important. If we were going to buy another reactor core with Ghana's rep as a result of him being a special dude. What would we do? I suppose one extra damage on the Vec hormones maybe, but... Yeah. Yeah, that smells like that's actually a much better decision. So we're going to sell him. Sorry. Grab this. Install. Plus one mech damage. Or vec damage, sorry. So now the question becomes, do I have the time to do a full run, or am I waiting for, or am I going to be smart and go for the island? And I think at this point, we've, like, we're too close to a two island victory not to it's rare that the steel judoka get a victory at all but like 
we've got to try, my man. Like, this is just... This is the time. We don't... I don't have the time to go for a full Four Island victory, unfortunately. So, yeah, we got to do this right now. Um, let's start the mission. So, ideally speaking, we're going to have ourselves clumped up far enough away from the volcano... That we're not going to have any problems dealing with these guys. So, a Firefly leader presents an issue in one sense, but is also going to be our best friend in another sense. Hopefully, we can abuse the fact that they attack in two directions to maybe get some double kills. Now, <laughs> I can't hold this pose forever. This is why I love Henry Kwan. He's my favorite. Um, also has it to do with the fact that he's got more freedom of mobility than anyone else in this game. Uh, what I'd like to do is see if I can't dunk some people or get some double kills. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... No? <laughs> Is that an option? Okay. We can go ahead and shield smack this guy and he'll attack nothing. Fine. We can go ahead and, like, use our ability to launch and hit this guy and hurt him. But we can't use Vice Grip on him. You're not a problem right now, but you will be. Oh... Oh, I see the plan. We're going to take one grid damage. But it should make the rest of this mission a little bit easier if we do it this way. Because we don't have any ability to really push people around is the problem. I mean, we do... Okay, look. Here's what I was thinking. If we use our artillery to launch this guy up, and then use our judo mech to throw this guy down, and then use our gravity mech to spin this guy around, then the Firefly will 100% murder the Hornet. Which is great. The problem is that they're still going to get the three spawns. And that's something we do want to avoid. Like, we are currently in a bit of a crisis mode. Just because of all those unbelievably frustrating things. Now, if I move here and I Vortex Fist, it's going to deal us grid damage. Would rather not. And I don't want to count this out as a lost cause. I can kill him too. If I move over here and I launch, he's dead. He's just straight up done. Um, the trick then becomes, how do I deal with him? I could pull him using the gravity mech, and then I can... I could pull him using the gravity mech, and then vice, and then throw him into that? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, okay, so we move far back enough that we get a pull on this guy. Back enough, sorry. That we get a pull on this guy to get him out of the way but then you see the slight problem that he's going to shoot there, right? We would need to give him a target to attack. Okay, so I think we do this. That smells right to me. If I get the vice throw here that's fantastic. Now you are going to get your attack. Congratulations. You win this round. However, everything else is going to go topsy-turvy for you. So this wasn't a perfect time. But I think that these were the best targets for us to get rid of. That beetle is a manipulable. Like, he's easy to deal with. But we couldn't deal with having him and two others on the other side of the field. Okay, so the boss leader is done. You're done. and We just need to deal with you three then. Really? Not that bad. Getting rid of you is going to be the tricky part here. Although we can just pull you. That's an option. But then it's you two. Oh, wait. No, we got an option here, too. Because we just do this. Oh, we're going to wait a second to do that, okay? A new move. If we decide to artillery here, which does a total of six damage, gets this guy to block his spawn and then die, gets this guy to die, that's great. But then this guy attacks nothing and doesn't die. And we'll have to deal with an alpha beetle next turn. You know what? Honestly, for the amount of people that we'll be killing, that's not necessarily terrible. Um, so if we just move out of the way, gravity pull, we don't have to deal with him anymore. We don't actually have a way of doing that. Without getting ourselves badly hurt. Uh, we're still going to do it. And then... 
Hold on. If we had put ourselves in a different place, okay, we would kill our own dude with that vice fist. Um, here, reset the turn. This is the turn to do the reset. I can feel it. Because if we can get this one thing to work, we're so well off, it's going to be amazing. Like the other options, we go in and we vortex fist. <laughs> it costs us two power grid, though. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. I think we might have to give up on the idea of this guy rocket launching and doing six damage. It is such a good play, though. Isn't it? Hold on, we can do this still. But then we have to deal... Um, we have to deal with this Hornet somehow. We don't have the ranged option with this guy. Like, that's not going to do enough. And we can't Vice Fist him at all. Because he's in the middle of the ocean. We have to use our Gravity Pull Mech to get rid of him. Um... The other option is that we keep the Firefly leader alive and get him to shoot his own friend. And I don't like it, because it leaves the Firefly leader alive. But he is kind of a weapon. So how about this? We're going to move him out of the way. Where? We'll find out in a second. We move our Judo Mech over here and we throw him across on the other side. How much damage do you do? Four? You would take the three and then die. That's not going to work. You would have to be in the way of this guy. Still, somehow. There's no way to do that. There's no room. If only the Aegis Shield was on this guy. <laughs> oh, what a funny world we live in. Um, look, I want to commit to this idea. It is a good idea. If we go here and we do it, it gets one kill, costs us a power grid, and moves this guy off of, like, off of a useful square. So let's do this and launch it. But not before we do this. And then it does what? We pull into the side. Like, honestly, these two are already dead. If we can just ignore them and do something else, we'll be okay. I just need to focus. Okay. I can move him out of the way. Sort of. Um... I can't really move him anywhere. I could move him to attack here, which would do three damage to him. Who goes first? Our f okay, I think we figured out... I think we figured out our out. I think we've done it. Um, you go here, and instead of attacking there, you attack like this. Which gets you the kill you're looking for. Henry Kwan... Can then deal with this guy by throwing him, dealing him enough damage that he might die instead of doing anything else useful. And Bob's your uncle. Yeah, this works. So, go ahead. Get your two damage there. You'll kill this guy, no problem. Then you, since you're already in a safe spot, you might as well just pull him. And you, because I want to deal damage this turn, should just throw him. Now you're at one. So everybody's been damaged or killed. Thanks to, you know, rocks falling on the party and then dying. I'm so glad I overthought that turn. Because this turned out to be an excellent turn this way. There's only two people left on the field, and they've got one extra HP, and then there's these two Jokers. Okay, fine. So we have to deal with two extra Jokers, but they're in such better spots than they were before. Like, already look at this. If we launch an attack here, it's gonna... Like, look, we launch an attack here, it already almost kills everybody. Almost. Um, think about this carefully, though. If we wanted to do an attack, and we did it here... It would not kill him. In fact, that's the worst possible attack. If we attacked like this, it would shove him onto the fire and not do very much. Huh? Going underground. Uh-oh, I got 30 minutes. <laughs> Can I beat the vile mission in 30 minutes? I'm very confused. Um, okay, we can definitely do this. But the firefly is still attacking there, which means that we'd have to... 
Who attacks first? Yes! This is a perfect turn. Move, shoot like this. Absolutely. Then you go up close and shield slam him. This is going to be great because he's just going to attack and kill him for us. Then we just need to deal with you. Oh, wait. I know exactly how to deal with you. It's the easiest thing in the world. Get Vice Crypt. Now, you're going to take a damage and you're going to lose your shield. But, um... We should be able to make it through this round of the final battle. Oh, wait, fire damage goes through shields? Excuse me? I mean, it's good to know. It's important to know because, oh my god, I was almost relying on that. That could have been terrible. Good block enemy. Now, you need to repair this turn or you're going to die. So, we're down a man this turn, effectively. And we can afford it. We can afford it. That's fine. Go over here or just go off very far to the side so you don't end up being a problem and repair. Now, this guy's already dead, and he's already attacking nothing anyway. If you just attack the other way, you're not gonna do anything, are you? Nope, you're gonna attack a mountain. Good job, you. Then there's you. If I attack like this, you attack nothing. If I attack like this, you will die due to fire damage and give me experience. And I think I vastly prefer that. Alright, so, end turn. We're going to lose a little bit of fire damage here, but we're not going to die, which is nice. You've died. Rocks fall on their party, not ours. That's nice. We still have five grid power. This is astoundingly good news. The only thing we didn't kill in all this is this alpha crap. <laughs> I feel... I feel elated. We might actually win. Let's not count our chickens yet, though. Alright, so, we're gonna have to deal with these four jokers. Should be doable. This guy's gonna get squashed by a Renfield bomb, don't worry about it. We have more than enough power grid to keep all- to be able to sacrifice some on this mission, which is nice. And take a fleet of acid launchers to collapse the hive on itself, we can't do it alone. Well, unfortunately we don't have acid launchers, which might be a cool modifier for the end mission here, but uh, don't worry about it too much. So, he's already super dead, which gives us one extra experience, one time. Now, what's funny here is that, honestly, the Judoka do play to an interesting strength in this mission. In that, we can kind of control where they are. The trick is, how do we kill this guy? <laughs> uh, honestly, I think we just shield slam him and get him to attack the wrong way. That's an easy one for me. You, and eh, we could have shoved. But I think it might be better just to... What else could we do to you? We could just move you a, di a direction you don't want to be in. You can be killed easily. Actually, in fact, you're vice grippable. If we can just get you to be vice gripped. And what we'd like to do is at least try to get one person on top of one of these spawns, but it doesn't seem like it's possible for anyone other than Henry Kwan, and it doesn't do enough. Um, but Henry Kwan's still going to need to be the first to go. So, how are we going to do this one? This crab, ideally, is the easiest to kill. Do you count as a bomb? or a... No, you don't count as a building at all. Of course not. Why would you? Um... One interesting tricky play we could do is get this hive, the, the hornet leader, to attack him. But I'd rather do damage to him and have him attack the wrong way. I think that makes more sense. And then... We can move him here, and then Vortex Punch, and then we could get this Artillery Dude to move, like, somewhere else. Like, just back, and then... Shove him backwards? How? How would that work? Hmm. The Crab is not the biggest deal right now. Honestly, the biggest... Like, yeah, it does one damage to our Renfield Bomb, that's a problem. Ah. I'm overthinking this, and it hurts. Um, if I vice grip this person, they're not attacking anything important, and they're down to 1 HP, which is great. If I vice grip this person, then they're dead. No, this person's more important to vice grip. This crab... Uh, I could kill him, but it would lose us one power grid. 
If we do that option, where I uh, move here and then shoot, it'll kill the crab, we lose a power grid, which isn't ideal, but then we also kill off the beetle. Which is nice, really. We can then kill off the other scarab, and then also force the hornet leader to go the wrong way. Look, I'm not a fan of this, but it does work. And I'm willing to sacrifice the power grid here, so let's go for it. So this guy's officially dead. We don't need to worry about him anymore. You do need to go over here, however, and vice grip this dude. He's now toast. Then you can go over here and shield slam. So, and turn, rocks fall on the party, and we're now in an interesting situation as far as tentacles are concerned. The tentacles are going to spawn in three very different areas, and depending on where the new spawns go, we might be able to get some interesting kills this way, I hope. Now the Scion is in a very scary place for him. We can easily kill him, I think. But... I mean... You see the problem. We have a lot of issues in terms of what's going on. Um... Honestly, our coolest move right now is to gravity pull this guy over here and he'll die to tentacles. The problem on top of that though is that we still have this Scion here and we need to kill him. We can do so with a vice grip. You know what? I think we leave this Hornet be. I think this Hornet's going to go ahead and take one more grid power from us. You, on the other hand, I cannot abide taking one more grid power if we can avoid it. So, if we do this... Like, we might as well deal damage and also get the kill, and also not have to worry about the grid power anymore, which is fine. Look, I know we're sacrificing grid power like it's no one else's breakfast, but this is, uh... Does that even... That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Honestly, it's the best option we have. It saves us the most grid power this turn. So we're gonna lose nothing now from this attack. You're almost dead. You are going to die. I am just making that happen because I don't want to have to deal with your shit. And then finally, because I don't like this boss being around here any longer, let's get the kill on him as well. So, we're down to two hornets left on the field, and those are problematic. Hornets are actually a massive issue for the Judoka, since it really seems like they can get anywhere, and they don't behave in a way that actually helps. So we need to survive another three turns. Oh, that is disgusting. Alright, at least you're not attacking anything helpful. But everybody else is managing to attack something a little bit gross, and I kind of hate it. Um, okay, you're almost dead, and you can be killed. Who attacks first out of the two of you? You do? God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. How much damage are you guys dealing to each other right now? If I shunt him over here, you will die. Um, if I move him over here, you won't die, and then you are attacking him for two... I kind of want to see the reset turn, what it looks like. Because as it stands right now, if I just get over here and vortex punch, it kills off a beetle. And then I don't have to deal with, uh, and then I can go ahead and deal with this hornet the other way, like in another way. By shoving him off of that and killing him at the same time. Yeah, that seems like actually half reasonable. The, the trick is, did I upgrade... I did. Oh my god, I did. I feel like a genius right now. Sophia, get the pull. This person's now dead. <laughs> okay, then you move over here and just vortex punch him. He's now gonna die due to that. You're attacking nothing. You're gonna die, and I just have to deal with you? How do I do that without hurting anybody? I'm being honest, I do this, that's a problem. If I do this, it's less of a problem. We take one damage to our... Yeah, you know what? It's still worth it to it. Don't even think about it too much. We even killed the crab at the same time. So, he's dead. You've killed your own friend. We only have three things to deal with. One of which is at one HP. Now, mind you... We didn't quite include a blobber in this description of things, and I'm kind of mad that there is one, but we can deal with it. If we move over here and pull him into the drink, then use our artillery to... 
Ooh, we can't use our artillery, huh? Who attacks first? You attack first! I hate it! We know that you attack last, though. Um... Actually, you, you're not a factor. The tentacles will come up and kill you first. You're not a factor. Okay, don't even worry about him. It's fine. Um, we can also go up and shield slam him, kill him, get this guy to just get off. We can, like, throw him, and then get the uh, artillery to just shove a dude onto a space they don't want to be on, and then die for it. Yeah. Seems great to me. Let's just do that. You're dead. You're dead. And you're toasted. Well, you're not toasted, but you will be next turn if you don't if you continue to stick around. Tentacles come up, kills like everybody else on their side of the field, and the Renfield bomb is ready. We actually beat the game with the Steel Judoka, who are arguably a lot harder than the Frost Titans, but you know what? I'll take it. Tell them to build a monument for me, I'll be back one day to check on it. Nice. Good good for you, Henry. Alright, so the Steel Judoka actually ended up working this time. I am very glad. That was not something I expected to have happen, and especially not in the amount of time I had available to me. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to just gloat. I am a goddamn tactical genius. Despite what that last episode had for on, 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 you know, on show, we're amazing. And largely because Henry Kwan is ridiculously good. <laughs> but, yeah, we did okay. Now, we're going to definitely bring Henry Kwan with us on another uh, on another round here, because he's just really good. And we actually did it. We got a two-island hard mode win. We even got a couple of the achievements. This actually gave us some legitimate coinage. Not that it matters. We need to get 25 to buy the secret squad. That's like every other achievement left to do it. But uh, you get the idea. And there's quite a few of them left. But uh, for the next little while... What's this? Encounter a familiar face. I see. Um, for the next little while, what we're going to actually end up doing is random squads. We're going to go ahead and randomize balanced squads as much as possible uh, for a little bit. Just to get the hang of a bunch of different, uh, you know, archetypes. Just figure ourselves out a little bit and have some fun. After a few episodes of that, we'll do some customized squads, get the achievements for that, and then we'll start seriously hardcore achievement hunting uh, for these episodes. But for now, we've now gone over every squad at least once, and I feel pretty great. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more of these videos, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when these videos go up. But for now, that's it from me. And I'll see you folks next time.